Good morning, good people. There we are, a bit more light. It was a little nice buffet breakfast, which is um, not very common in Checkerboard. Usually you get like a plate of pretty, you know, pretty sliced meat and all that sort of stuff. So buffet breakfast is nice. My second egg since I left Ireland. <laughs> Tonight and tomorrow I'm staying in an apartment, uh, so I can get my cook my own breakfast, but it's got to be a nice change for me. Yeah, so today we're heading to Prague, and we're going to go and visit one uh, site here in Gurnahara uh, before we hit the road, but um, i still got about an hour and a half so time here to get my stuff together, get a shower, a shave, and all that sort of stuff, so good lazy starts of the day. And then I think we've got an hour... 15 minute drive to Prague from here, depending on the traffic. Traffic is something that holds us back, it's not, we're not really that far. And uh, they're playing tonight in the Wagon Club with Hagamogis. Really looking forward to seeing those guys, guys. I haven't seen them in a year, and uh, we have a little bit of history with them. I still remember the very first time I saw them in uh, Gelskanot years ago. Uh, even through the soundtrack, we, we were like, oh, hmm, this could be something different, and we really enjoyed their music since then and really enjoyed playing with them. Somebody told me that they might have a new CD, so I'd love to give me hands on. Right, so, um, Shower's calling me. Talk to you in a bit. That was my cool little hotel last night. Uh, but yeah, it was a very comfortable bed, very comfortable place, nice breakfast. In the walking distance of the, the old town. So, yeah, no good place. Nice, nice spot. Well done, Desi. Now I'm gonna go and find Des. And we're gonna find Ray, and then we're gonna head to um, this place we wanna visit before we hit the road. So more about when we get there. So, <sighs> talking a bit. Alright, so now we're gonna be tourists for about 45 minutes before we hit the road. Des! No! I know nothing, so tell me, where are we? What are we doing? What's this place? <laughs> it's a very famous site actually. It holds, there's a, a bone chapel here. What's a bone chapel? Bone chapel, there was a lot of people that died here a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> For various different reasons. Some of them through the plague, some of them because of different uh, conflicts. But there's 30,000, the bones of 30,000 people here. Okay. I think it's the third biggest in Europe. Renault has more ten, by 10,000 and Paris has the most at 60,000. So, um, but apparently there was some mad monk here who originally started um, arranging them in these geometric formations. Oh, nice. And uh, he was blind as well. So the rumor goes, or at least one of the rumors go. And uh, well, you'd see, we'll see cool. what's in store for us now. Learn something new every day. This, I can honestly say this is something that you don't see every day. <laughs> wow. I'm a bit speechless though, so I'm just going to walk around and film what I see. Lately I've been wondering What's holding you down What's keeping you here Feels like got roots in the ground For many years we called this place home Even though it never was Scared to let go 
You know what a skeleton looks like, you know what skulls and bones look like, but you, you don't... <laughs> you don't see them used, you know, for anything, and then to, let alone make some sort of decorations out of them. Like, it's a bit bizarre. Slice of your head. Oh, it's this. Look at this. Okay, there's some rough battles. It was impressive to say the least. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's kind of a bizarre thing. It's like a you don't spend much time there, but it's still worth every penny seeing it. Do you know what I mean? Like it's just. If you ever in Kutnahara, come and check this out. It's it's well worth it. It's something surreal because you don't just don't see human remains and you don't see the bones and I don't know. It's we're kind of very respectful to it and it's fine. It and it, I fully understand it. And I appreciate it, but it's I don't know. It, it, it doesn't feel disrespectful. It's hard to explain. It makes you think in a weird way. It's cool. Right, I'm gonna show you an uh, interesting gravestone here. Take a look, because it's, you walk past it, for example. Coffee and water, good to go. Uh, now we are on our way to Prague. It's been our next two nights. It's hard to call a place my home I'd rather chase the sun I just hope that you can come along No regrets, nothing left undone I often wonder how far the river flows Oh, okay, guys, it's a very hot day uh, Again, roadworks, traffic, getting into Prague is always a bit of a nightmare with the driving, but we've got here, I've just checked into, um, I've got an apartment, excellent. Uh, check this place out, this is pretty cool. Um, there's my kitchen. I'm definitely gonna go and get some eggs and have a proper breakfast tomorrow. Um, I got a big bed. Um, I got a skylight over it. Which we're gonna have a quick look, quick look, but now for now it's uh, the sun is right up there, so it'll be boiling hot. I've got a small but absolutely fine bathroom. There's a toilet, there's a shower, a uh, bit of a sink there. Oh, absolutely perfect. Uh, I've got a router, internet, 
I got an iron, hair dryer, I don't think I'll be needing that. Everything I need for two days, absolutely perfect. But most of all, I've got a view over the city. It's not the best, but it's still damn cool. Check that out. Prague, let's do this. Right, tonight, solo gig in the Wagon Club. The GoPros are coming out. All cool. Uh, we're gonna go three angles, and we're gonna rock it tonight. Excellent, looking forward to it. Here's my little station, my uh, office for the next few days. I'm really delighted with this place. Right, so it's the time of the week to talk about this week's song once again. I meant to do this earlier, never got around to it, so it's a little bit late, but better late than never. At least that's what I believe. This week's song, it's a song about being apart from someone you love. And it's kind of, um, kind of perfectly suited for the fact that I'm on a tour right now and away from home and all that. The home life and all that stuff. And uh, it kind of, struggles with the things that you know when you're away you wish you could say something to someone and you know express your emotions which you kind of for some reason you rarely do when you're there all the time and uh, and in the song it's kind of hoping that when you finally get back that you get a chance to do that but the question is will you even when you get back will you I mean, part of being a musician is that we do spend a lot of time away from home, we spend a lot of time on the road. And you can't grow, as a musician, you can't grow your music without traveling, without touring, without um, going to all these places and playing music to a different audience. I consider myself very lucky to be able to do that. And I enjoy the touring life a, a lot. Um, and I think I adapt to it quite well. Um, I've seen a lot of people who don't. Uh, I've toured with people over the years who don't. But it still doesn't change the fact that every second of every minute of every hour of every day that you're away, you miss people back home. You know, you miss your loved ones, and it's it's kind of the blessing and the curse of this job in many ways. That you gotta go, you gotta go away to to make the hay. Uh, so to say. I actually wrote this song while I was back home, but I kind of even the thought of going on a road kind of made me think about all these emotions that I'm more than um, familiar with by now of being on the road and knowing what it's like to miss home while you're away. And don't get me wrong, like I still really enjoy the touring life, I really enjoy being here. Um, but you do kind of hope that at the end of the night when you know all the fun stuff is done, you could just pop back home, you know. And, spent the night with, a, with your loved one but uh, unfortunately that's not the way it goes and uh, that becomes a part of this life that we do and I've seen a lot of people who thought that this is what they wanted and when they got here and uh, they realized that they can't actually handle it so never take it for granted that you will be suitable for it until you've done it and at the same time I never take granted that I'm privileged to be able to do what I do and but it's important to express those emotions sometimes as well, of how much you miss home and how much you miss your loved ones. Um, so yeah, that's what this song, week's song, Think of You, is all about. As always, um, it's available now from Bandcamp. Just go and download it. Um, just put a zero dollars on the price, or if you decide to pay something for it, um, it's greatly appreciated. And as I said before, all the money you, you spend on the songs go directly back into making my future songs as good quality as possible and help to make up these vlogs as well so I can share as much content with you guys as I physically can, you know. Uh, I love doing this so um, if you can support me, great. Uh, but if you're stuck for a little bit of money, so don't worry about it, just put a zero dollars on the uh, price and the most important thing for me is that you get to enjoy the music. And, um, and you, look, if you aren't one of those people who uh, can't afford to pay for it, um, you can do a couple of things that will really, really help me. It doesn't cost you anything. You can subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. You can, uh, you know, 
leave me a couple of comments in, in some of the videos when you watch them and uh, they, they really make me happy as well to see people do that. So there you go guys, um, as I said I'm here in Prague and there's rain is drizzling outside right now and so I'm trying to get a little bit of work done here. Listen guys, thanks for listening to the song, thanks for being part of my wonderful world and I'll talk to you guys soon. Welcome to Prague. shopping trip uh, from Tesco and while I was there it started raining and I got completely soaked on the way back but I thought damn it why not just get wet because I have a good a blow dryer in the room so they get the dryer beside it why not why waste time waiting for the rain to stop when you can walk in the rain I'm on the fifth floor check this out Rooftop uh, window, slowly kind of drizzling sound of water. Some people hate it. Some people can't sleep with it, it rains on the window. I love it. I love it. I absolutely. I think it's the best thing in the world. Sleeping in a sound of rain. Yeah, it's a pretty cool thunderstorm out there. Might uh, see if I can get some some uh, time lapse coming out of the window. See what happens. Heading out to meet the guys and pick up the gear and bring it to the club. We don't have to bring much, uh, just personal instruments and um, that kind of stuff. I think I'm just trying to figure out if I have everything with me. I'm gonna go somewhere. Extra uh, I have my GoPros. I have my camera stand. I think we're good to go. Uh, yeah. Let's do this. Calm down. At least the torrential rain has stopped. Yeah, I got caught in it. Me too. I got caught in it. My underpants were wet. Here's a bag in the club. Oh crap, we're well, going to be playing it tonight. What the heck am I getting? It's basically a massive, long corridor. Pretty good spot. Run around the base. Sound desk. Stage. And all this room for people. setting up.
the opportunity to uh, hug him because we're still checking. Just want to take a moment to film some of this evening light on the first night of the pack. Also, after a few days of the festival, you know, you're know, going to want you to give your ears as long a break as possible before you go to the actual gig. Obviously, you want to hear them play live. But there's no way around saying it. Prague is just an exceptionally stunning city. Can't deny it. doing here? Uh, we came to see some litter. for a year and they're just getting better and better every time. Thank you. They're like a quality wine, you know? <laughs> <laughs> this is called uh, Tinkering on the Bridge. <laughs>
the picture. <laughs>